Hello guys, this is Anish Vidya with another tutorial and this is on how to create a very good render with good color correction and good depth of field and stuff like that and um, I'll be going into further uh, details later like how to key light I mean key the sky and like replace it with a cool background image or something and uh, how to make cool effects with lighting well, well, I'll just go through this picture. So uh, there is depth of field here, and it's kind of focusing here. I didn't do the depth of field very well, but yeah, you can see kind of uh, that it's focusing in this area. Uh, it's kind of sensitive, sensitive depth of field uh, on Adobe After Effects because the 3D channel extract is kind of weird, weird in a way. So let's now get to the tutorial. So I'm gonna go through a lot of things uh, for a good render, but uh, I think maybe better than Captain Sparkles. Well, as good as Captain Sparkles, you can't really get better because he's ah uh, whatever. So load in. Uh, let's load in a set. Watch my importing tutorial. Oh, and by the way, uh, animations Minecraft is a person who who kind of requested for this tutorial. Um, so I'll put his channel link in the description. He has a lot of cool uh, animations for, and one of his animations made me actually laugh, which is very good because <laughs> animation silent animations are kind of difficult. Well, it wasn't silent, but um, without talking is well, ah never mind. you get the picture. So let's get a set. Um, let's 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 find a place to render something. I'm gonna also go through motion blur for your animations, but for now I'm uh, I'm going to do just render a picture, but I'll go through motion blur right now actually. So uh, let's get some motion blur from here. Okay, so let's get a camera and go into the camera view by clicking this. And if I remember right, okay. So now we need to get motion blur. So click here, click here. Oh no, effects, vector motion blur, and go under. Uh, you want to group everything into one null. So select everything, just put it into one null. So group objects, which is this, and into one null. And then you should have one null here. Right click, um, and motion blur. And now let's mm, let's add some keyframes to demonstrate the motion blur. Uh, let's rotate it a bit, 60 degree, negative 60. And in between, we should have some motion blur going. So let's we need to hit this render, not the other render, because uh, it doesn't do motion blur for some reason. So we need this render so it's now calculating it okay so we have motion blur render time is slightly higher uh, there's another way of doing it but it's it uses the physical render uh, which is kinda it um, can't really explain it but the render time is a lot more just so don't use that okay so now I'm gonna go through uh, camera 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 vibrations well not very vibrations but some cool things to use so under tags the vibrate tag uh, click on it and if you enable the position and set it at five 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 and five it looks and you hit play it looks as if someone's holding the camera for you so if I hit play oh we need to move this out and then move this back in. Now if it play, ah, whatever. I'll, I'll show you how to move it later. So you see it's kind of moving like someone's holding it. And it'll be good for when you're like close up and you're like, um, well I can't really explain, but they use it a lot in movies and stuff. Uh, so I don't know, really. So a way to now move it is you go under animation. Uh, drag in your camera over here, just drag it in like that. It's already here, so go under functions. Oops. What did I do? Whatever, uh, just go under functions, 
bake objects make sure you have your camera selected and then bake objects and to what frame you want and then press ok and then it should have done that and oh I'll go back to stand start up and hit play oh, delete the vibrate tag and hit play and it should it should work without the vibration tag and you should be able to move it while doing stuff like that and it should move like that yeah you can delete the tags here and stuff I don't know how to really work with it but it's normally used when you are in one place when the camera is in one place so you wouldn't be moving the camera a lot so yeah uh, now now we'll be going into render settings and how to get that cool render so as you can see right now if I render it's kinda grayish looking uh, not grayish looking but darkish looking so the first good lighting is a physical sky and now when you render it looks kinda better shadows and stuff and now let's add some global illumination which is what you should use in all animations because uh, it it makes lighting reflect off each other like lights and it light up dark areas so it doesn't look kind of unrealistic and stuff uh, well I can't really explain it but it makes everything look realistic so go on effects and add color correction and change it to like whatever you like so uh, now when you hit render oops I hit this render because yeah I increase the color correction so you should see that uh, I increase the saturation so you should see that the grass is kinda brighter and every all the colors are brighter brighter as in more colorful I guess so we get this cool look to it now and if you decrease the color correction like so and render it should be a bit darker so if I set this as A and set this as B we should have this thing over here and we can go through it and see what the difference is so you see this part that's being rendered a little you can see there's a color difference a big color difference so I, s I always bump up the saturation to make it look nicer look nicer and by the way you should have motion blur in all your animations really but depends on what you want it just makes it look a lot cooler and looks like it ha you have uh, a higher FPS for some reason I don't know. but yeah so that's how you get these cool render settings uh, so I'm gonna get a render uh, okay let me go through the RPF format now so we have our render settings now so good quality render would be 1280 by 720 and I'm gonna make it a current frame because it's just a picture for now I'm gonna name it test on the desktop save make it RPF for 3D uh, 3D 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 data for because we'll be importing it to Adobe RFX and we'll be adding some fog and stuff depth of field and stuff like that and okay so let me render it now uh, good place to render would be somewhere like this I guess something like this and okay so I'll be right back when it stops and by the way one quick thing thing is say you're not happy with the sky you can actually change it to Adobe After Effects by key light I'll be going into that tutorial later and you can actually make you know the Slammer Cow earthbending uh, video I might put that in the description also the sky the first the first thing you see is the sky like it's so bright that it's causing like uh, a sort of blurish look so I'll be making a tutorial like that to make something like that over here and I'll be also going through the particles because he made that in Adobe After Effects also the particles just emitting out like around the area and he just increased the contrast decreased the contrast and 
color correction and then a little bit of fog and motion blur so that's all he did really so it, it's actually pretty simple what it does and I admire him for that <laughs> the render is kind of well anyway let's go into Adobe After Effects so CS6 uh, let's load in the thing which is this I hope no not this this one ah okay so we have it no, 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 it's not that one. It's this one. Come on, Lord. Wow. Wow. Okay, so we have it now. Uh, so drag it onto, onto this thingy over here. Just drag it onto it. And let's add the depth of field. So type here 3D channel and then you should have this here just drag it onto your picture and you should see the RPF format now working over here so it should like have done something like this so it looks pretty cool command D to duplicate this layer over here and then uh, now delete it this on the first one just delete it and now get the lens blur so just type lens Grab that onto that. Click on the just load this one, this the second one we made, and just load it there onto this one on the blur map. And now mess with this to find the correct um, thing, correct blur depth of field. So we wanted to focus on this flower over here. So blow the trees in the background oh it's horrible because I'm recording oh, it's kinda slow as you can see it's it slowly blurs 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 like yeah so this is good it's kinda focusing on this area here um, now let's add some color correction so hue just type in hue and saturation and then if you increase this it increases the color if you decrease this decreases it and if you just do this uh, yeah it looks pretty cool this looks green and nice like the old minecraft where uh, the actually wait never mind <laughs> never mind uh, you can even change this to bluish or whatever Oh wait, yeah, you can change this. So now it looks like a more. Actually, that looks pretty cool. Like it's the afternoon. Uh, but I'll keep it at a green look. Um. So now, what was I going to do? What was I going to do? Uh wow, I forgot. How could I forget? Be right back. <laughs> fog uh, so select this effects and fog 3d and I've been having some problems using this because for some reason it's kind of too sensitive sensitive and when I work with this oops <laughs> yeah so you can see the fogs kind of coming in now The cool thing is that with this 3D uh, RPF format, it does this all automatically, and you can like just wow, it's pretty cool. Wow, it's amazing. So oh, let's decrease the increase, decrease it because it's negative. Wow, 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 wow. wow. Mm. Yeah, my computer is lagging because of the recording. It's just changed to like negative 9000 or something. Okay, that looks good. Um, I guess it's okay. Oh, what is this cut thingy here? Wow, okay, never mind. So, so that.
Okay, never mind. I'll do it later. Fix it later. So let's render it. So go under composition. Uh, f save. Wait. Mm. Okay, save frame as file. And save it to the desktop or whatever. And uh, yeah, so now I'll click render. And now we want to change the format to a uh, JPEG. I don't know how to just change it automatically, but just change it to JPEG. Uh, and load it as preview. Oh my god, what is that? Oh, I know why. It's because um, if I show you, this has it is like this. So you need to model your own flower. Uh, so that it doesn't have like, something like this. Just model it like cubes. So I was thinking, well, no, why? Even the grass, make your own grass. Um, but everything else is fine. This is a bad render <laughs> because of the fog, but previously it was going, well, I don't know. Well, never mind. Ah. So, hope you enjoy this tutorial. Um, this is how you make slam account render settings. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, so you you'll probably this is probably one of the best uh, render settings for Minecraft animations, I guess. I don't know, but it is pretty cool what how these softwares work together. So hope you enjoyed and bye.